Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Elaine. Today I'm doing a hair tutorial for you. This was an extremely requested tutorial when I wore this look in a couple of my Instagram photos and also in a couple of videos um, a few weeks back and a lot of people saying please do a hair tutorial. Um, the actual technique behind it is really easy. You pretty much just curl your hair with a specific type of curling wand and then I simply kind of just fiddled with the curls a little bit and stuck a clip in it. So it's really not um, very difficult to achieve at all. All you need is the right kind of tools. So for this tutorial I use the Irresistible Me Sapphire 8-in-1 Complete Curler and this is one of my favorite hair tools because it comes with eight different barrels so you can get a huge range of different curls. I've already done a tutorial with it using one of the bigger um, non-tapered wands and that created a really soft beachy waves which were like beautiful for kind of like everyday wear. This is definitely not an everyday look. This is something that I would do um, for kind of like a special occasion, especially if I put like a sparkly clip or something in my hair or maybe even, it's, it's sort of reminiscent of like the good 80s, 90s kind of perm vibe. So if you went to like an 80s party or something, you could totally do something like this. Um, but you can also use the curls that I created in this to kind of create like older, oldie time curled hair like 1920s kind of fake butterfly waves um, if you pull them back and like brush them out I don't want to brush them out now because I like them kind of um, really defined but if you brush them out and pull them into an updo then this kind of curling technique will help you achieve that kind of 1920s butterfly wave hairstyle so the actual technique can be used to create lots of different styles even if you just want to add a lot of volume to a bun like if you're going to do an updo with a bun curling your hair really intensely like this can also help just to add volume to the style um, and so your hair kind of has some grip it just it's a lot easier than silky hair to create a bun right so the wand obviously that i used for it is the smallest tapered wand in the irresistible me eight and one collection and i love this because it gives you this really natural kind of curl where it's not very curled at the top like it's quite subtle and it really corkscrews down into something quite tight at the bottom which if you look at like people's hair curly people's hair um there's a huge variety obviously but a lot of the time people with curly hair will have it curling tighter at the bottom than at the root obviously um some people have amazing hair that like curls the same kind of curling this the whole way but most of the time people's hair kind of generally due to the weight of their hair especially if their hair's long it will hang a little more and then start to curl and get really tight at the bottom so i think this kind of wand achieves that kind of natural effect um, the only thing that makes my hair look a little more unnatural is that i've curled it all kind of the same way um, so therefore, on a person with curly hair, their curls tend to, like the hair sort of grow, like curls in different directions, it's quite sporadic, um, so you can always do that as well if you want something a little more natural, but I absolutely love this wand, it's given me such a huge range of different styles and I've just been having so much fun using all the different attachments. So if you're interested in buying this or anything from Irresistible Me's line, you can go onto their website, web, website. I have a link below um, to their website and you can use the code IRRESISTIBLEANNA for 10% off anything on their site. I also really love their hair extensions so I definitely check out their Royal Remy hair extensions while you're there. Um, and this wand will basically get rid of all of your other kind of styling tools apart from your flat iron. So now all I literally have is this wand which has the eight attachments and my GHD straightener which means that I have straight hair sorted and my curls sorted so it's really awesome. So if you want to see how I achieved this hairdo today then just keep watching. So before you begin you do want to make sure you protect your hair with a styling spray. I'm using the GHD heat protect spray. Uh, I put this in a while ago so it's completely dried now. You want to make sure it is fully dry. Um, and then I'm going to take my wand and as you can see I put my glove on this hand because this is the one that's actually going to be kind of holding the barrel. So once you've sectioned off the bottom of your hair, like the sort of bottom third, you can pile everything on top with a clip. It looks super attractive. Um, and then I'm going to take small sections, like really small sections, and curl it around my wand, which has been heated to 430 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, by the way. I don't know what that is in Celsius. It's quite hard, these back pieces. You do have to get the curling iron, put it around the back of your head. Be careful not to burn yourself and then wrap it around from the base. The front sections are a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> so hold it for like five seconds or so, and then you release the curl, 
pull out the wand but keep the curl in your hand let it cool down for a little bit before you let it go because that way it actually has time to kind of set um yeah it just holds the curl a little bit stronger i find Whee! and then we have a little bouncy corkscrew curl so i'm just going to do that to the rest of my hair i'll show you some more like ones nearer the front where it's a little bit easier to um actually see what I'm doing. So for the back you need to put the wand right over the back so you can get really quite close to the base of the um, hair and then nearer the front it's a lot easier. So I'm getting to some of these um, more front sections now it's a little bit easier to see how I do it. Yeah, you kind of pull the wand out and then keep it in your hand while it cools. So take a section, put the straight curling line behind you right at the base. If you rest the actual blue part on your scalp, it means that you won't hit your scalp with the actual hot tool. So it's a handy tip because you don't want to singe your scalp. <laughs> That'd be very painful. So wrap it around, hold it for a few seconds. Grab the actual curl, because you're wearing a glove, this doesn't actually hurt or anything. It feels warm, but it's not hot. Grab the curl, hold it, and then release, and you end up with this really cool curl. So, I'll do another one for you. I'm just going to do a bunch so you can kind of see the action. I'm always curling away from my face as well. It's another really important thing. Um, figure out the direction of your curl. Your curls can look actually really cool and really natural if you do them one way and then the next curl the other way. That's a really nice natural curly hair look. So if you want your curls to look like natural curly hair, I would do one one way, the other the other way. Kind of alternate the direction. But I'm going to do all of mine away from my face. So half the hair my hair will go that way, half the other other. So I'm just going to keep curling the rest of my hair in a similar fashion and then I will show you how I'll style the curls. So this is what it looks like after you've actually curled the whole hair. Obviously this looks quite hilarious and very 80s, but uh, we're going to fix that with a bit of styling. So I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray first and just spray all over my curls just to make sure that they kind of hold their curl shape, even though I want them to relax a little bit. Um, it's still important to spray them. Now with styling these sorts of curls, I like to keep the curls still fairly like ringlet-y. I don't like to brush them out too, too much. But what I like to do is kind of just tug on them a little bit. So I'm not really like finger combing because I kind of like the ringlet -iness. But I'm just kind of like pulling my fingers down the curls a little bit. It helps just to kind of, I don't know, soften them slightly. Because just be aware if you brush, if you finger comb these um, sorts of curls too hard or you brush them out, you're going to end up with an afro. So then what I like to do, see I have my, I curl them with my normal part here, but what I'm actually going to do is flip this kind of side over to the other side and then put a clip in my hair. So I'm just using one of these plastic clips for the back. Because um, that way I've curled it so that my hair will get like quite a lot of volume. And then I find the split there. So I've just kind of like messily pulled my hair over. I'm just kind of going to chuck a clip in it just to kind of keep that side there. Work on this side in the meantime. Um, just smooth out some of this. And then grab my clip around the back. So you put your clip in going backwards the opposite way to the hair. And that will keep my hair mainly to this side. So this is kind of how I would normally wear my hair when I've curled it like this. Um, this is just one way though, there's heaps of different ways you can kind of style your hair once you've curled it into corkscrews. Um, what, another cool way is to kind of flatten out the curls and put your hair in an updo. Um, and because you've curled it all the same way, you'll see I kind of have these like 
waves in my hair which gives a quite like a 1920s retro look so if you want to do I guess imitation butterfly waves you can just corkscrew curl your hair and then kind of brush out the curls and pull it around the back into like an updo and you'll kind of get these beautiful like wave to your hair but I kind of love the sort of slightly crazy almost 80s sort of look about these curls <sighs> So thank you so much for watching today's tutorial, don't forget to rate this video as well if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below as well telling me any other sort of video ideas you might have. Now that I'm doing two videos a week I really appreciate the um, extra kind of suggestions and looks that you want to see if there's a particular picture that you like and you'd like me to recreate in a makeup tutorial or something then definitely let me know. You can contact me via all of my social media links which are all down below. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat and it's all at Anna Elaine so it's very easy to find me. Um, I love interacting with you guys on social media so definitely follow me on something, one of those preferred platforms of yours and we can chat and talk makeup and fun things. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video.